everybody. So I am so excited to be back filming videos in front of my actual proper studio lights. I'm just excited because I have had exams for the past three weeks and I've been revising for those exams for the past three months. So I haven't had time to get my studio lights down and to actually film a proper video. So I'm excited to be here with my background, with the cushions, with the clothes, with the makeup and with a haul for you today. I don't usually do hauls on my channel because I'm not the kind of person that wants to excessively spend loads of money every single week or anything like that. Like it's actually quite rare for me to do a haul these days but I have picked up quite a few things over the past few weeks. So this stuff is stuff that I picked up over the past few weeks. The majority of it is actually stuff I got yesterday at Meadow Hall in Sheffield. So if you've ever been there then uh, Hello, you'll know what I'm on about. It's a shopping centre. Um, so yeah, picked up quite a few bits from there. But yeah, there's quite a lot of stuff to show you. So I am going to have to kind of get into it. But I think I am going to start off with the makeup first because um, I just feel like that's a good place to start. So we're going to start off with makeup. So I do actually have a Kiko bag and I do have to stress that although this bag is full of makeup, there is only one Kiko product in here that I bought but I just thought shove all the makeup bits into one bag oh by the way I have also dyed my hair if you haven't already noticed I did dye my hair a little bit darker it did used to be a lot lighter than this it was kind of like a light brown color just look back on my channel and you'll see I decided to dye it a little bit darker because I like to have the change and I just like to have a bit of something different going on basically so it's not just like I prefer it like this I know I like the change so I did dye my hair and it looks like this and I also snapchatted that I dyed my hair so if you want to go and add me on snapchat my name is Georgie E Carr on the screen now so go and add me on snapchat because I literally post all the time so if you don't like someone that posts all the time do not add me on snapchat okay um so yeah I'm, I'm almost daily vlogging on there basically so yeah go and check that out if you want to and my instagram will also be linked in the description if you want to go and check that out because again i post a lot on there so it's up to you but anyway let's get into this haul video so from this little bag i think it's probably best to start off with the thing from kiko considering it's a kiko bag i've never bought anything from kiko before so i was like oh you know let's try something I have obviously heard about the brand because you know I watch a lot of YouTube and a lot of YouTubers test Kiko products or just use them. I decided to pick up the foundation. In Kiko and Meadow Hall they had a mad sale on, like loads of stuff was on sale and this was 50%. It was down from £14 to £6 which I know is less than 50% but you know it was £6 something anyway. Um, so this is the foundation that I got and it's called Gold Waves Fluid Foundation and it's got SPF 25. My current foundation is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour one and it doesn't have SPF in it. So this will be quite a good one for me to take on holiday with me next week. I'm going on holiday tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday. I'm going on holiday. So excited. There's going to be daily vlogs, hopefully, if there's Wi-Fi. If there's not, then I'll do the daily vlogs, kind of upload them after I, and when I get back. Um, a week later but I'm so excited for the holiday so I think this will be perfect for it by the way I'm going on holiday with my friend Leanne, Steph and Emma they're amazing can't wait the vlogs are going to be so funny just just watch them they're going to be amazing um so yeah this foundation will be perfect for that because a it's travel friendly because it's quite compact and small and also it won't easily get smashed because it's in kind of a little tube squeezy tube and also it's got SPF in it which is great because I might be in the sun well I will be in the sun because there's a hot tub but anyway I got the one in the shade number two because I did want the shade number one but there wasn't a number one there so I had to get it in the shade number two but I do have some lightning drops from MUA that I can mix with this um, and I do currently use the lightning drops mixing with my current foundation so it will be absolutely fine um, so I just thought I'll get this shade so I'll have to give it a go I haven't used it yet but I'll take it with me on holiday I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine whenever I'm on holiday I don't tend to you know feel the need to put excessive amounts of makeup on so I'm I'm sure I'll be all right so that was the first product I got and the only product I got from Kiko can't wait to give that a good go I'm sure it'll be in a future video um then I also did a little beauty order from revolution it used to be called makeup revolution but it's now just called revolution um the first thing I got was this primer from revolution 
as I've just said obviously. This is the Ultra Base Fluid Primer. It looks like this and this is definitely more of a kind of mattifying primer. It's one that fills in your pores, makes your skin feel really soft. It's not a sticky one, so it's not, you know, silicone based or anything. It's definitely very softening um, and smoothing of the skin. I wouldn't say it's my favorite primer because I have actually used this for about two weeks now and I wouldn't say it's my favorite primer in the world. I don't know if it does anything. I am actually gonna do a video when I come back off holiday um, testing if primers work. So I'm gonna see if this little guy actually does work. The ingredients, it only has one, two, three, four, five ingredients in it, which shows that, you know, it's not packed full of chemicals. So I suppose that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, it was only, you know, a couple of pounds. So, you know, it was all right. I then picked up a couple of lipsticks. So these lipsticks are from the Soph X Revolution range. She is a YouTuber, Soph does nails. I'll link her channel down below because she does so many makeup videos. It's just, you know, she, her channel is like one of my favorites. And she came out with some products with them. She'd before she'd come out with this eyeshadow palette um, a few months ago, well, quite a few months ago actually. And I got this for Christmas from my friend Steph and it was 10 pounds. And I'm addicted to this palette. Like this is one of, or if not my favorite palette, like it really is such a good palette and I've used it so much. Um, so when she came out with some lipsticks and another palette with them, I was literally, the day after the launch day, I bought the stuff because I was just too excited for this because I just, I just wanted it, okay? And that never happens with me. I never want the kind of person to get sort of hyped up by YouTubers merch or anything. I never buy YouTubers merch or products that brands release with YouTubers, but these are decently priced and they looked good. So I got two of the lipsticks out of the three that she released. And the first one is in the shade Syrup, which is this one here. It's a nice, uh, kind of nudey brownie colour. My friend Steph also got some of these as well. I had to order them for her because she couldn't find this eyeshadow palette on the website. <laughs> so I ordered them for her um, and she paid me of course. Um, and then I got one in the shade Cake, which is more of a pinky nude colour. It's kind of a pinky brown. It's a really nice colour actually. Um, and I wore this one yesterday when I went to Meadow Hall. The formula of these is actually amazing. I've worn these every single day, obviously alternating, um, since I got them. I haven't worn any other lipsticks apart from today, obviously, um, because they're just amazing. The formula is great. They're very creamy. I wouldn't say like they last particularly long, but they are, you know, lipsticks in general, you know, you're going to be eating food, you're going to be drinking. Um, but they look really nice and they're the perfect colours. They're just the perfect nudes. So I would recommend getting those. They're four pounds each. And then I also picked up from obviously her range that she's released with them, which is only a few products. Um, this eyeshadow palette, and this is the extra spice eyeshadow palette. This is what the kind of packaging looks like the original packaging um i am going to throw this out because this is just a box it came in but it shows the eyeshadow colors on the back but you know that's not the best kind of representation of the actual colors you you should probably look at the colors themselves um but yeah this is the palette it's very very shiny in com compared to her last one which is very matte so it's um quite the opposite but on the back it is matte um, so yeah, this is the Extra Spice eyeshadow palette. The name just screams autumn to me. I don't know why, it just does. These are the eyeshadows. They are amazing. I love them. I've worn every single eyeshadow. I think the only eyeshadow I haven't actually worn properly or that much, oh yeah, is Vitamin C and LA Sun. So the yellow ones, I haven't worn that much. But I'm definitely going to be doing a video swatching all of these, using the eyeshadow palette, going through every single shade and doing an eyeshadow look with some of the shades because they're just amazing. So I'm so glad I picked this up because I've literally worn this eyeshadow palette every single day since I got this. I like to, when I get a new product, kind of wear it out a lot, use it loads so that I can kind of play with the eyeshadows, use them all and get to grips with it so I can do a really nice eyeshadow look with this. So yeah, very excited and happy with that. And that's £10 by the way from Revolution. So very decent priced. Oh, and I also got those bits off the Superdrug website and the shipping was actually free. I don't know why, it just was. So that was good. And the final makeup product that I got was from, oh no, two more makeup products. Sorry, the final makeup product from Revolution that I got was this concealer that everyone has been obsessed with. Everyone says that the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage and Contour Concealer is a dupe for the sharp, sharp tape tape, tart shape tape. I will not be trying that um, concealer because it's way too expensive for my kind of 
budget i like drugstore makeup and i always will obviously i've got some naked palettes um upstairs in my room that are obviously high end but on you know in general i go for drugstore makeup because i just feel like that is what i am you know why spend more money but anyway this apparently is supposed to be a dupe for that i love this concealer i cannot stress to you enough i've worn this every single day since i got it the applicator looks like this so it's a big dofa applicator and that's just what i love about it i get really excited to put this on i got mine in the shade c3 but yeah this is what the packaging looks like it's a really nice kind of sizable bottle there's a lot of um product in here which i really really like and it's amazing coverage it is really good coverage this was only four pounds and this is amazing. I would actually go as far to say as this is my favourite concealer. It gives the coverage but it doesn't feel kind of cakey and it doesn't feel like it's dragging your face down if you know what I mean. Um, and it works really well. So yeah, I'm definitely 100% going to rebuy this straight after. Straight after because I love it that much. And the final makeup product that I got was actually what I got yesterday. And this was from Primark. This is just a 50p um liquid lipstick and this was 50p reduced from two pounds saw it thought might as well throw it in my basket you know might as well try new things it is a gray lipstick as you can probably see i'm wearing it today it looks metallic but that's because the lights are on me kind of shining um, and the reason why it does look metallic is because it is a satin finish so it is a liquid lipstick but it is not a matte finish it is satin as it states on the bottle um and that means that it's going to be kind of like a little bit shiny like it's not a gloss but it's not matte that kind of thing and i actually really like this i actually thought you know a bit of a joke kind of thing you know it'll be all right for videos but i'm living for this lip color i love it a lot um yeah i think it looks quite nice with this jumper i think it matches quite well it's nice and cool tone so that is it for kind of the makeup -y bits from kiko and revolution and primark oh yeah i did get a few bits from primark but the stupid bag they gave me a massive bag right and i've got quite a lot of other bags down here from other shops and they gave me a massive bag so i thought oh i'll put the other bags in that big bag carrying just one bag around on the way home the primark bag must have split this little guy fell out leaving it you know miles behind me i didn't even realize until the whole thing split and all the bags fell out all over the floor my friend steph and emily had to help me pick everything up and sort myself out and i was like hang on a minute i'm missing a bag turned around like meters away like a load of meters away this little guy was just laying on the floor so it's a good job i noticed but yeah the primark bags didn't last me because you know made out of paper but anyway I think I'm going to go on to clothing now because I think that's probably what you're all here for. So there is actually quite a lot of clothing in this haul and that is not because I bought loads of clothing yesterday. It's because I, these are the bits I picked up over a good few weeks that I thought I'd mention in this video that I haven't mentioned in previous videos. But what I bought yesterday is I went to Victoria's Secret with my friends. We just thought, you know, we'll pop in, um, have a little look. And I saw that they had some sports bra. Sorry. I saw that they had some sports bras and I was like, oh, I like a good sports bra. I'm one of those people that loves to wear sports bras every single day because I find them really comfortable and I also do a workout every day for half an hour in the afternoon. So it's just, you know, saves me having to change or anything like that. And this is the one that I picked up. This is obviously Victoria's Secret because, you know, it's where I got it from. And this was £14, which um isn't too bad like that is good it was obviously reduced i think it was reduced from about 38 or something like that um it does say it was 22 but then when you remove that label it's like 38 so i would never in my life pay 38 pounds for this at all but i was comfortable with paying 14 it fits really well it says victoria sport on here and yeah i really like this so this is a good one um and a nice fit and i love the color it matches my lipstick so yeah that's what i got from victoria's secret my friend steph actually did get three of these um three of the victoria's secret bras because they're in the sale so yeah that's the first thing i've got i then headed over to new look and i know this bag looks like it's full of clothes but it actually isn't um well it, it is but i only got one thing from new look so i'll just delve in and find that one first because i do actually love this 
um, item that I got from New Look. This is probably my favourite thing that I got. And this is a skirt. This is a denim skirt from New Look. And I'm obsessed. Like, I'm obsessed with this. I've seen styles like this online with the stripe down the side, the kind of blue, red, and white stripes down the side. And I've seen them in um, a black colour and obviously in the denim um, blue colour. And I've been umming and ahhing as to whether to order it offline or not because I don't like ordering clothes offline because, you know, you never know when they're going to be good or not. And it's just a bit of a risk, really. Um, and I saw this in New Look and it was £22.99. I don't usually spend that much money on just one item, but this year I have got a job, so I've got a little bit more money than the usual. Um, so I thought, you know what, Georgie, you really, 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 really like this. You're gonna get loads of wear out of it, so get it. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It's in a size 10 and it fits perfectly. Like I struggled to get it on, but when it's on, it fits perfectly, but it will stretch a little bit because obviously it is denim. Hopefully I will have done a try on clip for you to actually see it. But yeah, this is just what it looks like. I feel like this is going to be a good staple on holiday. Um, I then got a couple of bits from Primark and of course it wouldn't be um, a Georgie video without some kind of a jumper or a hoodie. This is a jumper. You know I'm addicted to jumpers. If you know, if you don't know I'm addicted to jumpers, then you have not been watching my channel for long enough. Um, literally love them. I saw this in Primark. It was eight pounds. It's just a plain grey jumper, and it's quite oversized. It, I will show you in the overlay clip because it's a bit difficult to show you now. But yeah, it's quite oversized. I love a good high neck jumper. Um, I just think they're very like I don't know. They're quite nice, and obviously I'm wearing a jumper now, and it's actually super sunny outside, and I am roasting right now, but. I just love the look of it, so we're doing it. But yeah, love this jumper a lot. It's just nice and great. I and mean, you can't go wrong with eight pounds. Like Primark is so cheap and they have such great products. And the material on the inside is really, really nice and fluffy. So yeah, so happy with this. And I might wear this tomorrow, depending on the weather, which is probably gonna be quite sunny. Oh yes, the other day, me, Steph and Leanne went into town. We went to Casper's, which is, this is Lincoln Town, by the way. Casper's is a new, um, kind of American diner um, for desserts in Lincoln Town Centre and they do like really nice like waffles, crepes, that kind of thing. So we went and got some crepes, uh, me, Steph, Leanne and Naomi. Sorry Naomi, I forgot you there. Um, and then afterwards we headed over to Primark and we got some matching pyjamas. Pyjamas? Pyjamas. Um, so these are from Primark, obviously as I just said, and me, Steph, Leanne and Emma so not Naomi, Emma, are going on holiday tomorrow, as I've already said, and I've probably said in a million videos. Um, but we wanted to get some matching pyjamas, you know, just some cheap ones. So we picked up these. These are like little short pyjama shorts. And you look at these and you think, oh, you know, nice, you know, quite wild. They've got flamingos on them. But when you look closely, you actually read they say Love Island on them. Which, you know, I'm not really the massivest fan of Love Island, like... I feel like a lot of people obviously are like addicted to Love Island and my friends are, which is why we bought these. Um, they're probably gonna get me into watching it on the holiday, which I don't mind, I'm sure I'll, I'm sure I'll like it. I don't know whether I'll love it, you know, because I'm not the biggest fan of reality TV shows because when I'm watching them, I'm just thinking, this is so fake, like so fake, and you just know it is. And I know that, you know, some people love that, I don't personally, but we'll see what happens. We'll see how it goes. Um, I like programs like The Apprentice, um, The Bake Off, just like more real shows, things like that. Like I hate Britain's Got Talent. I hate The X Factor. It's just so fake. I hate it so much. So I'm sorry. I'm just getting too passionate about that and we're getting off the point. But anyway, these are the pyjama shorts. They were five pounds from Primark and we're gonna be wearing those kind of matching. I'm sure you'll see in the vlogs. We do also have a top, which we bought a good, you know, couple of months ago for our Leavers Day. This is just a plain gray t-shirt that we've got for Leavers Day um, because we were drunkies, dragons cross donkeys from Shrek. So we just bought this. So we thought, oh, we might as well just wear this as the pyjama top with the bottoms. So that's what we are gonna be wearing. So I thought I'd just quickly mention that. And then now a couple of clothes. I feel like this haul is humongous. I'm not used to this, but these are bits I bought over some time. Um, okay, so these are two things from H&M. I did actually get these a good few months ago now. And they're t-shirt dresses. I absolutely love t-shirt dresses. I really am 
getting into them so much. I feel like they look really good, they're comfortable, um, they're not restrictive in any way, and they're just quite casual. And this is the first one I got. Oh yeah, by the way, H&M do some amazing t-shirt dresses. So if you're, you, you know, you're wanting a t-shirt dress, go to H&M. So yeah, this is the first one. It's like a burgundy kind of ready pinky colour. It's got the little white kind of edges around it. Again, you'll see on the try and clip. And I think I got this one in the size. Oh yeah, this was a medium because, you know, you like to be a bit oversized um, with a little t-shirt dress. So yeah, it looks like that. And it's just a nice one. I wore this to Meadow Hall yesterday. And then the next thing I got from H&M a few months ago was this. This is another t-shirt dress and this is green. Love the colour. I really do like green as a colour. And on the front it says the future is present. Does not mean anything to me um, at all. But you know, we'll see. And then down the side it just says, actually what does it say down the side? Oh, it just says the future is present down the side as well um, several times over. And I just quite like these little stripes down the side. I think they look quite cool. I, it kind of gives me kind of sporty vibes. And I know that sounds a bit weird, but my fashion sense is very much kind of not girly at all. I like things that are quite, I don't know, chunky like these, dresses like that. Um, kind of, I, I prefer, if I had to choose, I'd rather wear kind of a tight fitted um, dress that's like, or a t-shirt dress rather than a flowy, girly, you know, dress, dress, dress. Don't know what that means, um, because that's just my style and that's just how I feel. Um, so, you know, that's what I've gone for. But yeah, love those little bits from H&M. And the final thing that I got was actually yesterday and I forgot to show you that. And this is from Primark. And I actually, this is the actual thing that I actually went for um, to Meadow Hall to go and get. Um, but obviously, you know, I knew I was going to spend a little bit extra. So this is a sewing costume. And I was looking, we were looking in so many shops. Oh my God. Every single goddamn swimming costume has got something on it that I dislike. So anyway, we went to Primark. I thought, you know what? The quality is not going to be the greatest, but actually I found one where it is actually quite good quality. Um, they do have some ones in there for about four pounds and you know, they're not the best, but this one was 10 pounds and ooh, it's blue and it's actually really good quality. So this is what it looks like. It's got the straps on there, but you can actually remove the straps and it looks like this. So this is what it looks like. Just a plain, simple swimming costume and Obviously, I won't try it on in this video, but yeah, I don't know. You might see some of it in my vlogs. Who knows? Um, but yeah, it's just a plain, simple swimming costume. And I really do like the colour. It looks quite nice, actually, in front of these lights. So yeah, that was £10 and it fits very, very well. I'm very happy with that. So that's everything in terms of clothing. Now we really are scraping the bottom of this haul. Okay, um, I picked something up from Lush. Love Lush. This bag is huge compared to the fact... Um, this bag is huge. There's only one thing in it, but it's still, you know, a huge bag. Um, love Lush, it's amazing. Oh my God, the smell of it's making me want to sneeze. Hang on. Bright lights. No. I'm trying to induce a sneeze. I oh know it's not happening. Okay, so I got this here. Um, which is the comforter bubble bar. I've had this I would say about four or five times before I remember when I first got this bubble bar from my friend Ella, uh, my friend from my cousin Ella um, For my birthday or something. I thought that that was my first experience with Lush I thought this was like a bath bomb So I shoved it in the bath and nothing happened and I was like, oh, okay So I then grabbed it out and I thought it was like a body scrub or something So I was just scrubbing it on until I realized Obviously, it's a bubble bar. You break bits off, you put it in the bath. So I am going to be using this when I get back off of my holiday as a little kind of treat. Love this. I can get this into about six different washes, so six different baths. It creates pink bubbles in your bath. Smells amazing. It has the traditional comforter smell. And it just reminds me of good bath times. So yeah, loving that and I'm so glad that I picked that up because, you know, although it's good to try new things, I think sometimes it's good to stick with what you know. Also yesterday, I thought I might as well just mention I got this sparkling cloudy lemonade, 13 calories per bottle, clearly didn't finish it all, but you know, there's only a little bit left. I'm, I'm not a fan, you know, it's all right, it's not the best. It's just, 
just our fridge and apparently it's new it's new get it out where you can and then the final thing is this here i got this with aubrey the other day we went to tesco's and this is greece by the way if you haven't seen greece where the heck have you been it is i think it's 40 years old because it says on here the 40th anniversary so my voice is starting to go um it's 40 years old so it's a very old film if you haven't seen it you need to watch it it's really really good it's a great film it's one of my favorite films so that's why i bought it it was five pounds from tesco i wanted to watch it for ages um but i just didn't know where to get it from so i, I ended up finding it in tesco so yeah really really good film so that's everything for this haul all oh, my days like i feel like i've been here for quite some time i know it's been a long haul but thanks for sticking around if you're still here now we've reached the end so i'm gonna go and try on these clothes but you would have already seen that and thanks for sticking around please do watch the daily vlogs that i'm going to be doing whether it's going to be next week or the week after so excited for them they are going to be really good because my friends are hilarious and it's just going to be funny so yeah give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it please subscribe for more videos because i'm going to be putting so much more effort into my channel now and as you can see lights background things ideas i'm going to have more ideas so see you very soon goodbye and have a nice day Goodbye.